<laughs> a home built flight simulator is not complete without a paint job. It's very inexpensive to paint a cockpit enclosure. You can do a lot with just a 2 inch brush, a cheap 2 inch brush, a 3 inch paint roller, and a quart of latex primer. We use latex primer because it covers well, it can be tinted gray, and it dries with a flat sheen. That means it's not glossy. So here's a little tip that can save you some money. We only need one brush and one roller. We never let them dry out, and we don't even have to clean them. In between coats of paint, put the brush in a Ziploc bag. Squeeze out the air and seal it. And keep the brush in the refrigerator. You can do this with the paint roller too. Put the whole roller in a one gallon size Ziploc bag. And put it in the fridge. No matter how many times you need them, they will still be wet and ready to go. You'll probably paint only half your project and then wait for it to dry before you paint the other half. Or you might add a second coat of paint to the whole thing, which is a good idea anyway. No matter how many times you need them, your one brush and one roller will still be wet. And here's the best part. You can keep them this way for weeks. <laughs> Here's another painting tip. When you start painting your project, first paint the corners or hard to reach places with your brush. After you're done with that, go back with the roller and paint everything else. Keep your brush handy to catch any drips. Make sure you have good lighting so you can see the drips or any areas you may have missed. The best lighting is usually outside, weather permitting. <laughs> 